Friends, in this video, I am going to talk to you on our journey through COVID. At I Thought Advisor, we entered 2020 on a note of caution. We were already increasing our exposure to defensives. We were buying gold. We were extremely cautious. The reasons were not difficult. The reason was that we believed that the economy was still decelerating. A reversal was not imminently in sight. So, in our perspective, the safest way to invest during such difficult times is to stick to the value school, to buy businesses which are selling at very attractive valuations and to restrict our presence to sectors which we believe were defensive both in structure of the business and in valuation. This explains why we were heavily invested in pharma, we were also invested in MNCs and we were betting quite heavily on commodity stocks and on public sector units. So that explains the defensive stance with respect to the business structure and with respect to valuations. Broadly this was the strategy we applied when we entered 2020. COVID was definitely not factored into our expectations and it was a shocker. But COVID demonstrated that that defensive stance was definitely going to cushion the portfolio. How did it do that? When COVID struck, between the time of COVID striking and the vaccine discovery, gold performed exceptionally well in the portfolio and gave the portfolio much needed stability. So while the markets fell tremendously, our portfolios did not fall as much as the market. So in that sense, the defensive stance worked quite well. But there was a significantly higher polarization among the sectors once COVID struck. For example, the FMCG stocks did much better during this period. Pharma started doing well. While we were invested in pharma, we hadn't uh, really factored in FMCG into this equation because of the fundamentals of FMCG in the previous year. So FMCG stocks ran up, pharma did run up, so we participated in pharma. But the market came to a mood where it was simply unwilling to uh, look at the commodity stocks and was willing to sell commodity stocks at any price. Now that is something which was not factored into our investment expectations at the beginning of the year. In that sense, that was quite a surprise. The other area was that the markets took a view that the government as a promoter would fail in its primary duty. Now, this assumption was definitely an overstretched thing, but it was there. We had to deal with it. So, the public sector stocks also got sold and they started trading at half the book value or at abysmal valuations. So these two which we bought earlier as the valuations were cheap became cheaper and then became the cheapest part of the stock market. But this did not last long as the market was searching for value as the government demonstrated its will to take better decisions with respect to the companies that it owned and as global commodities started recovering each of these themes started firing. We saw that our portfolio demonstrated superior stability as the year ended and we were able to also invest further into the same themes or into new themes. Effectively, while 2020 was an extremely volatile year for the overall market, we were able to navigate this volatility in a much better way. There were very interesting opportunities that came our way. To the investors who were willing to participate in those opportunities, we were able to advise them correctly to participate in them. In that sense, we left 2020 on a much stronger note than we entered 2020 and we journeyed through 2020 with much more stability, peace and calm. So, from an advisor standpoint, we learnt a lot, we were conservative, we remain conservative through the year and we exited the year also on a note of caution and conservatism. This 
shall continue this year as well but with more promise we are seeing that the very themes which got punished more than they ought to have been in 2020 are performing much better now you are all seeing the performance in commodities and natural resources we expect that this can continue we are also seeing the reform take an accelerated thrust in 2021 we should see disinvestment progress all this should see the PSU pack also do much better in 2021 than in 2020. In any case, from all available indications, the worst seems to be behind for these spaces. As an advisor, we would always look at taking a cautious step in a timely way. Whenever valuations go ahead of fundamentals, we will choose to be cautious we will choose to bring caution into your investment decisions. We will advise you from time to time on how this can be done. And we believe that as the economy returns to growth and we see visible proof of that, we will be able to become more aggressive in your portfolios. Until then, we will choose to be careful, cautious and very clear in our investment decisions. 2021 promises to be a better year for investing than 2020. Through the lockdown of 2020, our team at I Thought RIA developed a new offering called ACE. Here, we move beyond mutual funds into the domain of ETFs and direct equity. This offering would be a far more comprehensive offering. All of you are welcome to upgrade to this offering and experience a far more superior advisory experience. Thank you for being with us on this journey and we look forward to being a part of your journey to wealth through 2021 and beyond. Thank you.